What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. Let's continue the journey. Find some more sins to punish. So we kind of briefly looked at this area before. There's a lot of holes we can drop down to. Actually, you know what? Looking at it, that is the area that I went through before with all the stuff. <laughs> Stop it. That's the that's basically just where I was running through that they were throwing crap at me. More of this lightning st or this these not lightning. Uh this element like um Oh that's neat. So my new power I can float. I'm guessing I can take advantage of air currents now probably. Yeah, there's sooner or later there's definitely gonna be I mean those minerals are laid out as climbable paths, so the question is just when. And it looks like I may be going down into that area that I had explored a little bit before when I kinda accidentally wandered into. I wouldn't really say it was an accident, I very much went there purposefully, but you guys know what I mean. Oh, dude, forward dodges are spicy with this thing. Oh! <laughs> Regular dodges are also spicy. Did I mention I've leveled up pretty much just arcane? Because it looks like it's paying off. Uh, it also does feel like lightning just happens to be particularly effective against these guys, but who knows. Let me go check the other path first. Before I go too much farther, I want to see what uh, this path has to offer. Ah, see, it's a good thing I came back. There's a Volgrim here. And this is a... So just because I'm not curious, do it work? No, okay. This does, so I'm guessing the next thing I'll get is probably gonna be like an earth power and I would guess that the earth power will let me interact with minerals what would you ask of the I also feel that anytime you talk to Volgrim if this game wants to be Dark Souls so bad let me refill my Nephilim's respite talking to Volgrim respawn the enemies for all I care just give me back my heals because forcing you to die to get heals is it's just not a good system you know Alrighty, so, oh, that guy from earlier, I wonder which sin he is. That's definitely the next sin we fight. All the stuff from before, so it's that upper area, that's a strong boy. Alright, come on strong boy, let's go. Ooh. All right, that guy's no joke. It's a good thing I went back and found the, the Bulgrim seal. Otherwise, I would have been a salty lad having to run all that way. Check that out. Watch that again. Here we go. We do. What was the one where I went? How did I do it? How did I do it? Troll and delay and Y and paler. Crossover, crossover. That's 
cool. I want to try that on someone. That move makes me very happy. Stagger lock those baddies, apparently. I didn't think you could. Sitting there, like, trying to get a dodge off, but nope. Gonna make our way all the way around to fight. Um, I would guess... Okay, who did we fight so far? MV? MV, Wrath. I'm guessing Sloth, judging from the composure. And I could try out this Shock Therapy Strike, Ragnarok, Hold Wide, Timed Release, Triple Tempests. <laughs> It's actually really hard to tell what, if any, the difference is. Oh, what? Maybe I need to... Nothing that way. And it looks like you clearly can get over to there. Let's follow the skull. So the skull is telling me to go back the way I came? Back, jump down maybe? No, hang on. Actually, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to go and then go into that area where I was, where I stopped proceeding forward. That would make sense. That would also explain why it's telling me to go that way. And I'm like, wait, what? No, why should I jump? Just want to make sure there's nothing over here, nothing that I'm looking, and no, and I could go back and level this thing up. This thing is pretty cool. Like, fire nunchucks are neat, but, uh, lightning lance is where it's at. This room still sucks. I mean, I remember this room. This is the one where you have, like, I don't know what those things are called, but I'm gonna name them Lurchers. And this is the room where you gotta fight all the Lurchers. Except you don't, because you can go here. I can go to Serpent Falls, and I can go to. This is, I'm at Access Way, I think. Extreme of Greed, Splintering Station, Sister... Oh, Splintering Station is the one I want to go to that's really close to where I just died to grab my stuff. Not sure what the other stuff is. Uh, I definitely can't. I mean, I can glide. I'm not gliding all of that. That's too much to glide. Oh, this 
this is so cool! It's like the AoE special of dreams! That's neat. That's like some Diablo awesomeness right there. Like, that honestly reminded me of, like, some crazy wizard stuff out of Diablo. That was super cool. Alright, so, let's... See... Now, is it the cistern or the hatchling cesspool? No, this is the first one. I think it's hatch. This is where I'm coming from. This is the first time I started coming down here. And I'm here. Access way. It's where I just was. So I want the cistern. Yeah, because I said side trip. Cistern side trip was the name of that episode. And so I think this is the way I want to go. I do remember, I started running into those, uh, I, mean, I don't know how you would describe them, but I remember they were disgustingly powerful. No, not here. No way, this is where I came from this way. I'm just more just trying to figure out where I went. Did I go? I think I went under that to get to this thing that I'm at. But I remember, I remember fighting like the giant Zerg-looking guy, and I don't remember where. I remember if that was this way? I remember I went through there, and I did some stuff. I say I swam like this. And didn't I go this way? And then this is you have to go like that to get back to the thing. Get over to this thing. But then where do I continue from? This way. That was it. Yeah, this looks right. I says yes, because we're getting deeper in and we're getting more of this shit that's on the walls. Yep, 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 yep. This is definitely it. And those guys still suck dick. I completely forgot that one was there. But I, I still don't feel like this game knows how to scale its difficulty properly. Like, the <laughs> enemies just start hitting excessively hard. And like, yeah, oh, well, Cowboy, you could upgrade your, your health more. Like, dude, I upgraded my health a pretty, pretty large chunk. that fucker at? There he is. I do this before. So I'm trying to remember, and I want to say, oh, that's neat. I grabbed my souls like, as I died, so I didn't end up dropping them. That's interesting. Um, I want to say there was a way to take the the other guy out, like a different path over here that I'm overlooking. 
Because I remember, like, yeah, from I was coming from up there, and I, like, dropped to fight him, and then I dropped to fight this guy. Maybe not. There's nowhere to drop, so... Suck my tornadoes! Don't mind the fact that you can't see while they're up. Undying shard. Alright, I've definitely never been this way. Wherever I went that I was fighting these things, it was somewhere else. It wasn't this path. I would not have overlooked that. Hope is that I can decide when. Let me take a look at this thing. I hope it doesn't like just auto consume it because I die to enemies all the time. And I really hope it's like a you need to turn it on. Because I would save that for. Oh no. That. Man, that's like a queen thing. Man, more red guys. That means they're all super strong here. Where's the... I, uh, man, I'm really trying to remember how I ended up in this area before. the kind of situation where I'm either going to go in um, yeah, there we go. basically like that's my only chance I need to <laughs> with as many lurkers as there are I need to go in and immediately pop magical lightning tornadoes that kill stuff for me stuff is alive where was that that gap at. Yes, you can't touch me, plot armor. <laughs> Might even pop a fortification shard here just because there's so much shit attacking you. Lightning Tornado! Move makes me really happy. LB hmm. There we go. Fire Lightning. Oh, you know what I just thought of, which is a good uh if you're playing on an Xbox or Steam of course. Y, the button's yellow and that represents lightning, whereas B is red and it represents fire. Now I would bet you money they did that on purpose, but that is that's uh that's slick. And this is definitely a uh side boss fight thing that I don't know if I want to get involved in that right now, but maybe. Let me uh look around and it looks like the answer is yes, I'm gonna have to get involved in that because <laughs> I'm not allowed to go anywhere else. 
Great. Um, I got healing. I got I mean I got plenty of healing. We're already at 20 minutes, which means I'm. What's happening? Oh man. Oh, that's a big girl. She looks angry too. Um. Hi. You're a, a spider lady, okay. Looks like you're gonna show off some of your attacks, so you're gonna scuttle, scuttle, sweep. That's probably a back dodge. Ah, uh, yes. I am. No, not. Oh boy, yeah, you hurt. You hurt a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it like this then. I prefer to save this for after I know that I have a decent chance of winning as like I increase my health. But in this case, it's gonna be, have to be what we use to kill you because you're gonna hurt me a lot otherwise. Thank you for that. You know what? I'm surprised. I fully expected this game to uh, make these eggs hatch during the fight just to add on an extra layer of fuckery, but <laughs> turns out for once I was wrong in a good way. I do want to go back. I want to level up, level up my uh, lightning thing. So it's gonna take us out. I mean, if if we're almost at sloth, we're obviously gonna have another. Uh, uh, boss break, whatever you want to call it, Volgrim thing. <laughs> Bastards never stood a chance, did they? Who? Earthlings of any species. <laughs> You can like the way with your scintillating personality. If so, do it quietly. I don't think we're alone. I don't like this. <laughs> Right, who turned off all the lights? Actually, it looks like I can just spam toggle lock on and it'll work. Ow! Wait, what? Weird. I think the I think this room is supposed to stay dark but when you're zone transitioning it like bugs it out and so it lets you light it up. Looked to be a hidden area that we found there. Yes, and it's probably just a treasure room. Yes.
little bit of health. Shouldn't hit me. Alright. It's all fakes. Yep. Alright, well. Seems like as good an area as any. How long what do we need to level up from here? This will be fun for both of us. About a thousand, huh? About a thousand. Rid of these. And I do what want to please. Angled Rado. I want to uh go back to Maker's Forge and use up some of these demon things to upgrade this spear thing because it seems a pretty badass. See what that can do for you. Alright, more health. I feel like artifact and fortifier. Well, I might as well. As for weapon, this needs fragment, this needs sliver. Um, between the two of these, I mean, the chains do a lot of damage, but the lance just has some insanely amazing potential. Like, the tornado is attacking shit for you. That kind of AoE is, like, unheard of, as far as I'm concerned. And it's basically our... It's with one more upgrade... Oh, no, 112, 116. Yeah, so with one more upgrade, it's basically on par with the Barbs of Scorn, which are at plus four, and this is only at plus two. How much is Adamantite? I think I can buy Adamantite, but I think it's 500 souls per... sliver... Which, I mean, I could obviously swing it. Let me see. What would you ask of this humble? Take your time. Eight hundred per. Oof, that's fucking steep, dude. Twenty. That's another thousand on top of what I have As right now. <laughs> I mean, I can afford it at what the end of the day. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Take your time. One. Excellent choice. Two. As you wish. Ugh, I hate doing that, but it's all for this. Because instead of upgrading my whip thing, I'm going to start upgrading Badass Lightning Sphere. How come I have him in to lay down a mighty Then I can use my fragments. Some of my Best. Yes, 131. So this thing is going to basically just smash ass now. 116 to 131. Interesting. Good luck to you. Now if I only had a... Uh, 3 tornado sparking. Ugh. <sighs> And those counter hits I do are going to be so freaking good. Health, I'll probably work on getting that up to like level 10 next, I think. Now that I'm at 75%. I mean, I could take Arcane up to 100 plus, but... Here, feed you some souls. As you wish. So let's go up to 80... 75, I'm getting 6%. So it's slowing down. This was getting a lot more. Or if this is like a soft cap or something on it. But I do feel like I'm getting bonked on a lot. Let's, um, I think I'm going to focus on getting my health until it's above 400. Just for, you know, just to get it up there. And then I'll switch back and work on something else. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. We are going to, of course, resume from the Tangled Grotto. I still don't remember where that area was where there was a buttload of the, the Zerg guys. Like the big ones that I had to fight. 
I feel like it would have been before this, but I don't know. I've kind of gotten my, my directions mixed up. But anyway, stay tuned, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we continue.